So you have a Samsung Galaxy A23 smartphone and you have the issue where you have a black screen. Even though you have a black screen, you know that the phone is still on. Maybe you can get phone calls, you can feel vibrations, you can hear notifications coming in. Or take note that this phone is fixed, but let's pretend if I had a black screen and I still plugged it in, you should be able to hear that beep sound when you plug it in. Okay? Anyway, I'm going to give you guys several solutions to get you up and running right now. So the first thing is if you have a case on here, take the case off. Next thing is with the power button here, we're going to spam the power button, okay? Spamming by uh, going in and out, turn, press in and out, in and out the power button, get it all nice and loose. Maybe it's, uh, it's possible it got stuck or you have um, coffee in there or lotion or soda and something to cause an issue with the power button can cause a black screen as well. Okay, after that, next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and restart it using a two key combination. Okay, so pretend my screen here is black. The two key combination is volume down, power. Press both buttons at the same time and hold it and don't let go until we see the Samsung logo appear. Once the Samsung logo appears, let go of both buttons. Okay, so we're going to do it together. Power button or volume down, power button. Okay, pretend my screen here is black. Volume down, power. Ready, set. Go. Volume down, power. Keep on holding now. Do not let go. Don't worry about what's happening to the screen. Just continue to hold until we see a Samsung logo now. Still holding here. Volume down, power. Still holding. Where is that Samsung logo at? Still holding. Oh, Samsung logo. Let go of both buttons and let it boot back up. And hopefully you are now out of the black screen. If not, we're going to go to the um, second possible option. Okay, so you still have the black screen, no problem. Next thing is this. Grab your charging cable. We're going to plug it in. We're going to wait five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, it should be getting juice. It's plugged in. And we're going to restart it using the two key combination again while it's plugged in and charging, okay? Volume down, power. Ready, set, go. Press and hold. Keep on holding. Do not let go until we see that Samsung logo appear, okay? Still holding here. Volume down, power button, still holding. Still holding, where's that Samsung logo? Come on. Oh, Samsung logo, let go of both buttons and let it boot up and hopefully you are now out of the black screen. If not, we're gonna to go to the third possible step. All right, so if you still have a black screen, next thing we're gonna do is this, go ahead and unplug the phone. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to hold the phone like this and what we're going to do is, I, I call this the tap method. What we're going to do is we're going to use two fingers and so we're going to tap all over the screen and all over the back, okay? And the whole premise behind this is you most likely have something slightly dislodged inside your phone and a little tap can pop it back into place, okay? So hold the phone like this, grab two fingers and we're going to start off on the screen here. So what we're going to do is just keep tapping like this kind of hard. And sometimes as you're doing this, your screen will automatically pop on, or sometimes you get like half a screen, or maybe you might get white lines. But just keep on tapping here, unless the screen just pops on, okay? Keep on tapping all over. Sometimes actually you may like tap it and the screen will turn on, then it'll turn off really fast, okay? Anyway, okay, now we're gonna do the back, okay? All over on the back. Even around all around the camera lens, you gotta get on there. If you don't wanna smudge up your camera lens, then you can use some kind of cloth or something all around they're all on the sides on the edges everywhere now turn the phone over tap the power button and see if the um, black screen is gone see you have the black screen no problem we're going to restart it again using the key, two key combination okay volume now power ready set go press and hold both buttons don't worry about what's happening to my screen, just pretend it's totally black here. I'm just holding down the volume down power button, waiting for a Samsung logo to appear. Still holding, volume down power. Where's that Samsung logo at? There it is. Let go of both buttons, and hopefully you are now out of the black screen. If not, we're going to go to the next possible fix. All right, so you still have a black screen. Do not fear. The next step what we're going to do here is what I call the massage method. What we're going to do is hold the uh, phone in your hands like this and you're going to use your thumbs and you're going to massage all over the screen and all over the back. There's the same premise with the tapping method. You may have something slightly dislodged, okay? 
If you don't want to smudge up your screen, you can use like a cloth. Anyway, just hold the phone like this and then use your thumb and press, press. Give it a nice massage all over. Press, press. And sometimes as you're pressing like this too, the screen will pop on. Maybe you'll get like half a screen. Maybe the screen will, will turn on and turn off really quickly. Maybe you'll get white lines. Anyway, just keep massaging it, pressing it, pressing it. Even on the back here, okay, you want to press, press, press all the way and all around the, the lens too. Now, if you're pressing in the back and you hear a little click, turn the phone over, tap on the power button and see if your uh, screen is on, okay? If not, no problem. Just keep pressing, giving it like a nice massage all over, all right? Turn your phone over, see if the black screen is off. If not, no problem. Restart it using the two key combination. Remember, volume down, power. Press and hold both buttons at the same time. Do not let go until we see the Samsung logo appear. Samsung logo appears, let go of both buttons, okay? Well, hopefully you're up and running. If not, then we're gonna to go to the next possible fix. All right, so your screen is still black, no problem. So the next thing we're gonna do here is what I call the smack method. Why? Because we're gonna smack the phone. It's the same premise behind the uh, tapping and massage method. You may have something slightly dislodged or disconnected in the phone. So with the smacking method, what we're going to do is we're going to hold our palm out like this and we're going to smack the uh, the screen in the back. So we'll start up here on the screen, hold out your palm, we're going to give a couple of whacks like that and tap the power button to see if your screen is on. No, okay, keep on tapping, look at the phone, go on the bottom of the screen. Again, you might get white lines sometimes, you might get, um, the screen might pop on and uh, turn on and turn off really fast. Anyway, okay, so we did the front here, and now we're going to smack the back. Also on the bottom back. Turn your phone over, see if the black screen is gone, see if your screen turns on. If it doesn't, again, we're going to restart it using the two key combination. Remember the volume down power, just press and hold both buttons, keep on holding, and wait for you to see the Samsung logo appear. All right, hopefully you're up and running now. If not, then we're going to go to the next possible solution. All right, so the next thing I have for you, if your screen is still black, is what I call the freezer method. Why? Because I want you to go ahead and grab your phone and put it in the freezer. So grab your phone just like this, nice and naked. Go to your freezer where it's nice and cold. Put it in there and wait 15 to 20 minutes. After 15 to 20 minutes, go to your freezer, take out your cold phone, and see if the screen is on. If it's still a black screen, then while the phone is nice and cold, we're going to go ahead and restart it using the two key combination again. Okay, remember volume down, power. Keep on holding until you see that Samsung logo appear. Once the Samsung logo appears, let go. Now, here's the thing. Now, if you tried all of these steps and you're still down, you still have a black screen, then what I would recommend, well, first, if you have a screen protector on there, guys, now is the time to take the screen protector off. Okay, anyway. So what I want you to do, if you still have a black screen, start off in the very beginning of the video and try step one, step two, step three. Try it two times, doesn't work, three times. Try it up to at least seven times. If you guys tried every step at least seven times, I'm gonna say at least 70, maybe 75% of you guys will now have a working screen, okay? If this work for you, give me a thumbs up and comment uh, which uh, method worked for you or which combination of methods you think worked for you so that everybody else can see, okay? Good luck, guys.